Hi, and welcome to Outcome 7, Financial Principles. Analyze financial principles in organizations. As you can see in the three um, artifacts that I have included, I've included two of them from the finance class, uh, 807. Again, uh, this is a class that's combined with, at the time was combined with uh, law, and so there was uh, only four weeks of finance and four weeks of law, um, so the amount of uh, artifacts are actually limited. Um, I did choose two artifacts, uh, one of which is the five C's, which is artifact number one, which is the five C's financial analysis report. So um, what we had to do is basically um, look at a publicly traded company. I chose Zynga, which is a, a gaming company. I, if you are on Facebook or uh, mainly social media, you may know uh, Zynga. Uh, farm town or farm town there's a lot of other Zynga games um, and we had to look at uh, the five C's and analyze the five C's based on the uh, annual report or financial annual report so I had based um, the 2013 financial annual report and I looked at uh, the character capacity capital collateral and conditions uh, of Zynga Prior to the um, financial analysis report, we had to also do a uh, financial issues article. So going into that, I also looked at uh, the liability of uh, gaming um, with an article analysis. Uh, it was an article by uh, Savage uh, called standard gameplay and IAP metrics for mobile games. So this is focusing on mobile gaming, which is basically what Zynga um, market is into and the financial responsibility it has and that it gets out of in-app purchases and such as. Um, and that's what that uh, article analysis focuses on. And finally is artifact number two, which is not from my finance class, but is actually from uh, 805 um, and is the background paper to that. Now in my 805 class, um, I decided to look at now, Article 2 um, is for my 805 class. I decided to look at uh, religious nonprofits and tax code, and the, which is the 501c3. And what I did is how it relates to... Uh, I so the background paper is um, outlining the rules and understanding of the tax code and the financial principles that specifically relate to religious nonprofits because um, religious nonprofits have uh, a few more rules and regulations than a regular nonprofit, and there are um, other elements to becoming a 501c3 than simply um, a nonprofit, and so it, it outlined those elements.